Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I just wanted to share with you what sold on eBay this week. My hubby Paul is going to tell you all the details about each item and what everything sold for. So enjoy! Okay, these are the items that sold from March 14th through March 20th to try to catch you up on some of the eBay sales. Now, the first thing that you see here is a set of golf clubs. It's not a complete set, I don't believe, but it's almost a complete set. We found this at the Goodwill Outlet. Now, the Goodwill Outlet that is close to us, we pay about 99 cents a pound, so basically a dollar a pound. So the golf clubs cost, oh, probably around $10, maybe a little bit more than that. But as you can see, we sold them for $71 plus $12.65 shipping. Now, something that we do on eBay is that we try to do things at an auction style. Uh, now, I could have priced this for $49.99, buy it now. Uh, with the 1265 shipping and someone would have most likely bought it but as you can see we had six bids so it, it was a little bit of a bidding war and uh, went for $71 uh, great deal uh, great profit in that and I'll go over the final profit numbers with everything uh, when we get to the end there notice it was a, in used condition it wasn't brand new but it was in a really good shape I think somebody probably used them two or three times and then donated them to Goodwill and nobody was willing to buy them at the Goodwill, so they went to the Goodwill outlet, and it was just, you dig for stuff, and this is one of the things we found. Okay, here's another thing, and really be on the lookout for these in when you're picking and you're out there. This is just a Walkman. It's not a Sony Walkman. It's just a, a just a kind of a another brand of Walkman. Um, but uh, most people, I think, they'll put a dollar or two dollars on a garage sale. This, again, was at the Goodwill outlet. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I knew that it would sell. And look at this. It isn't even uh, new. It isn't even in working condition. Now, as you can see, the it, it did light up to be able to do the radio, but it wasn't playing cassettes. And so I just made sure to list that and uh, did the condition for parts or not working and uh, someone bought it uh, almost instantly. Twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine plus six uh, seventy shipping. So be on the lookout for these. Uh, you can make some good money with those. Now here's something else that uh, Heather and I do quite a bit is that we lot items together. Uh, there's nothing particularly awesome about one of the items, but it it just draws people's attention with the different assortment of items. So. As you can see, this didn't go for huge money, but they usually, uh, um, a junk drawer lot is what we call them, they will go for 10 bucks, sometimes more, depending, uh, especially if you get a bidding war. And notice there were five bids on this. So I think I had it at $4.99, and then people bid it up there. But uh, you have an Indian head, Indian head nickel, you have some watches, an old pocket knife, some marbles, a lighter, and uh, pe people will go for this. So when you've got like a, just an assortment of things that you found and you're like, well, what do I do with this stuff now? Consider doing this and you might be pleasantly surprised with what you find. Here's another junk drawer lot uh, that we put together. Again, not one particular item was amazing, but you lot everything together and um, you can make some good money. So this went for $9.99 plus $6.70 shipping. And you can see some pocket knives, some jewelry, a uh, watch, another lighter there, a bell, uh, and just a few other little odds and ends. Uh, make sure it's not like broken. None of these items are broken. They're just uh, something that's just not a name brand or something uh, spectacular. But um, they still sell. Uh, so $9.99 plus $6.70 shipping. Now, this is something from a bulk lot that we got. Uh, this is Star Wars Force Link. Um, I, what was it? 11 figurine lot here. So for $20 plus $6.70 shipping. Now, what had happened is we got this in a, I think it was a salvage lot. And what had happened, all uh, each of these characters here were, were actually in their original packaging, but it looked like somebody had just smashed the original packaging. I have no idea what happened to cause that. Uh, I don't think this was in shipping. I think this is how they either got returned to the store or something like that. Well, what I ended up doing was I, I knew no one's going to buy them in smash packaging, so I just took each of them out. And you can even tell some of the weapons are missing. 
um, uh, like the little guy in the orange in the bottom there, he doesn't have his gun. Uh, that's because it, it was gone in the packaging. But um, people still bought them. They are new. Uh, they were in their packaging, but I listed them as used because, you know, you don't want to say it's new if it's not brand new in package. So, but uh, still good money in that. And so when you're doing, if you order from bulk, this could be an opportunity for you that if the the packaging smashed, still think about selling on eBay and uh, people will buy it. So $19.99 plus $6.70 shipping. Um, now this was a, a little jewelry lot. What I do uh, just for fun sometimes is when I go to a Goodwill, okay, not Goodwill outlet, but a Goodwill, you will find uh, containers that they fill up. Usually it's vases, glass vases with jewelry and they're trying to get rid of the jewelry. They, they really are. And um, um, you will, it, it's kind of like a grab bag, if you will. But you'll find all sorts of different things. Almost every one of these jewelry pieces had some name or some marking. And what I do is I check to make sure that they're not sterling or 10 karat, 14 karat gold, something of that nature. And then um, whatever I is not a precious stone or precious metal, I'll lot together. And as you can see, a state junk drawer lot, uh, seven vintage costume jewelry rings. Now, I knew it was an estate junk drawer uh, because that's what the, the lady had told me that uh, at the Goodwill that um, um, one of the, the folks that uh, visit them quite often, their mother had passed away and donated all their jewelry. Well, it was so much for their case that they put most of that jewelry in those glass vases. So these seven rings over $15.50 plus $3.99 shipping. And somebody will enjoy them quite a bit. And Thomas, the tank, uh, the tank engine, uh, always sells. If you find this, uh, a bunch of them, maybe at a garage sale, uh, Walmart's clearancing mount, or something of this nature, uh, check these out. Now, I had found, uh, Heather and I found a Walmart that was, uh, for whatever reason, they were just moving all of their uh, Thomas the Trains out. Uh, we put uh, some on uh, Amazon, and these were the ones that either had gotten returned to us from Amazon for whatever reason or um, just weren't worth going on Amazon. So here they are. Here is a lot, 45 of them sold for $26.77 plus $7.90 shipping. So uh, some really neat ones in there, too. This is another little something to look out for. I found these at a Savers thrift shop. Uh, maybe you have a Savers next to you. If you don't have a Savers next to you, check your thrift shop. Savers, they have uh, um, bags on a wall, if you will. Little clear bags. They price these for like $2.99, $3.99, and they just lot a whole bunch of stuff up together themselves. And I always check those. And if you have a Savers, always check that too. And all of these were in that. And uh, some of them were name brand Bug House, if you know that brand name. And they're just little tiny little little tchotchkes, if you will, that you would buy. And um, they sell. 30 of them sold for $19.99 plus $6.70 shipping. And uh, you lot them together, and of course they go. Uh, this is another thing that I purchased at Savers. I think I paid $2.99 for it. Now, this wouldn't go on Amazon because it's poker chips, but it's also the M&Ms are in it also. And because those M&Ms are in there, well, this was probably three or four years old of a collector's chips. So um, th that candy has passed its expiration. But people aren't really buying it for the candy. They're buying it because it's the poker chips. Um, they wanted them for their poker night or whatever the issue is that they want them for. But as you can see, uh, $20.50 plus $7.90 shipping. And I even had two people bidding, bidding against themselves a little bit to be able to get this. So, uh, And as you can see, it's new. It's sealed in the package. That was great. But again, this is something that wouldn't be able to go on Amazon, but it would be able to go on eBay. Another junk drawer lot. I really enjoy doing these. I find it fascinating what people will go ahead and pay for these uh, different things. I think it's the curiosity of what you'll find. And again, don't don't try to sell broken stuff. I, we don't really go for that. We try to find things that 
Oh, they might have uh, some value to someone. The, those scissors were really nice. Uh, they were made in Germany. They're very old, and somebody's going to enjoy them. Same thing with the silverware. A very old silverware, but again, no maker mark on them. Hard to find them. Somebody might know what they are, and, and they could be worth a lot more than $14, but but uh, a nice little junk drawer lot. Sells for $14.46 plus $6.70 shipping there. Now, I had spent a grand total of $50 on about four glass vases full of jewelry. And so uh, this is part of the, the jewelry that was found in those vases. And what I do is I will find all the pens that I can, the brooches and the pens. Here's a lot of 20 here. And uh, they will sell. Uh, sometimes they'll go really high depending on what pen is there. Uh, that somebody's like, oh, i got to have that, and they'll go ahead and they'll spend, uh, oh, sometimes I've sold them for $30, $40. This one um, didn't go that high, of course. It went for $9.99 plus $4.99 shipping, but uh, still, you're going to make money on jewelry. You just have to buy it right. Now, this, these are always the fun thing. That's still in that $50 lot of jewelry that I found in those four glass faces at the Goodwill, and um I had actually looked in those glass faces, and I could see some things marked Sterling, Mark 925. And um, uh, as you can see, I lot it all together. I put it on a little weight scale so they know exactly how many grams that are there. And basically, people are buying them for the scrap value, although there were many pieces there that you could have picked out and actually worn. Um, there were some that, as you can see, that ring is a little bit damaged, and a lot of the things had some pretty bad scratches. But there were a few things that you could have worn. And it sold for $50 plus $375 shipping. And notice all the bids, 16 different bids that you see there. So a great little group that pretty much paid for all the jewelry that I bought, but um, I continued uh, to find little pieces in that jewelry lot. This was the best thing that I found in there. A 14 karat gold necklace uh, with a 14 karat gold amethyst pendant. It's absolutely beautiful. The picture doesn't do it justice. It was really a stunning necklace. And it was in those glass jars. So just that sterling paid for everything. And then here's this necklace, $83.20. And uh, people say, well, uh, we were incredibly lucky to find that. We find it pretty consistently. Well, when, when you go and you look in those little glass jars, when you check the jewelry cases at Savers, at thrift shops, at Goodwill, you'll find that even though they may understand that it is a precious metal, they don't price it anywhere near because they just have so much. And they're, they're just trying to move it. And uh, this was a great find. Also, I, I would let you know, you're going to see it coming up a little bit later in some future videos. People at, um, at garage sales sell jewelry awful cheap. They're just trying to get it out of their house. And you can find some great deals on that. So, of course, that sold for $83.20 plus $3.50 shipping. And this is my last one here for you. This is a lot of 13 World War II ration books. Now, I know it's not a huge thing. It, it was fascinating history, and I love history. It was fun to be able to go through. Uh, but this is $4.99 plus $3.50 shipping is what it sold for. We bought it uh, at this at auction with a bunch of World War II photos, which was fascinating to go through for $2 in a box. And we made all our money up with just selling these. And some of the ration books weren't even complete, and some of them were. But to just a neat the little thing of history, and stuff like this sells. Even paper items like this will sell. Uh, you just have to find the right buyer on eBay. Again, Amazon, you couldn't sell it there, but eBay you could. I hope this is helpful, and uh, you'll get to see a few more of the What Sold on eBay videos uh, coming up later. Here are the numbers. We sold 14 items between March 14th through March 20th. We sold them for $376. Our cost and our fees equaled $127. Therefore, we made $249 worth of profit. 
If you are looking for resources to help you resell, just click the eBay link below to purchase my Hooked on Pickin' reseller program, which I created from my 10 years of experience reselling. It has checklist cards for Amazon, eBay, and Goodwill. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips, items, and strategies listed by department. The eBay card has a six-step guide for reselling, and the Amazon card has a six-step guide for reselling. They are fully laminated so they can easily go anywhere without being ruined. These are a great resource to buy. Just click below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.